Are we alone in the universe? Or is there intelligent life out there, just beyond our reach? Today, we're going to explore 15 weird and fascinating facts about aliens that will make you question everything you thought you knew about extraterrestrial life. 1. The term, alien, was first coined in the late 18th century by philosopher William Wewell. He used it to describe the inhabitants of other planets. The term, alien, was first coined by the philosopher William Wewell in the late 18th century. He used it to describe the inhabitants of other planets, meaning beings that are not native to Earth. This usage of the term is different from modern-day usage, which mainly refers to beings that come from another planet or another world. However, the word, alien, can also be used to describe something that is foreign or unfamiliar, which is how it's mostly used today. In this context, it's a general term that can refer to anything that is not native to a particular place, including people and animals as well as extraterrestrial life. 2. Scientists believe that there may be as many as 40 billion Earth-like planets in our galaxy alone. With so many potential homes for alien life, the chances of us being alone in the universe are slim. The estimate of 40 billion Earth-like planets in the Milky Way galaxy is based on observations and calculations of the number of stars in the galaxy, the number of planets that can form around those stars, and the likelihood that some of those planets will be in the habitable zone, where liquid water can exist on the surface. This estimate is considered to be a conservative one, and the actual number of Earth-like planets in the galaxy could be much higher. Since there are an estimated 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe, the total number of Earth-like planets in the universe could be in the trillions. The possibility of life existing on some of these planets is considered to be quite high, making it unlikely that we are the only intelligent life in the universe. 3. In 1977, a radio telescope in Ohio picked up a strong signal from space that many believe was a message from an alien civilization. The signal, known as the, wow, signal, has never been explained. The, wow, signal, was detected on August 15, 1977, by the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University. The signal was received at a frequency of 1420 MHz, which is in the range used by hydrogen, the most common element in the universe, to emit radio waves. The signal was detected in the direction of the Sagittarius constellation, which is in the direction of the center of our galaxy. The signal was 30 times stronger than the background noise and lasted for 72 seconds. The signal was named the, wow, signal, because the astronomer who received the printout of the signal, Jerry R. Emin, wrote, wow, on the margin of the printout next to the signal. The origin of the signal remains a mystery and has never been explained. Several theories have been put forward to explain the signal, including the possibility that it was a natural phenomenon, such as a passing comet, or that it was a human-made signal, such as a transmission from a satellite or a military aircraft. However, none of these theories have been proven, and the signal remains one of the most intriguing and unexplained events in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. 4. In the early 1950s, the U.S. Air Force conducted a secret program called Project Sign to investigate reports of UFO sightings. The project concluded that most sightings could be explained by natural phenomena or human error. Project Sign was a secret program conducted by the United States Air Force USAF, in the late 1940s and early 1950s to investigate reports of unidentified flying objects UFOs. The project was established in 1948, in response to an increasing number of UFO sightings being reported to the Air Force. The goal of the project was to determine the nature of the sightings and to identify any potential security threats to the United States. The project's investigators examined reports of UFO sightings and attempted to explain them using known natural phenomena or human error. They concluded that most sightings could be explained by misidentifications of ordinary objects, such as aircraft, balloons, or meteorological phenomena, and that there was no evidence of any security threat. The project also concluded that there was no evidence of any advanced technology or extraterrestrial intelligence behind the sightings. The project's findings were published in a 1948 report, which concluded that UFOs posed no threat to national security and that further investigation was not warranted. However, the Air Force continued to investigate UFO sightings through the next decades, eventually leading to the establishment of Project Blue Book, 
which was active from 1952 to 1969. 5. Some scientists believe that aliens may be silicon-based rather than carbon-based, like life on Earth. The theory that aliens may be silicon-based rather than carbon-based is rooted in the idea that there are many different elements that could potentially support life, not just carbon. Carbon is the basis of all known life on Earth, and it is often assumed that it would also be the basis of life elsewhere in the universe. However, scientists have proposed that other elements, such as silicon, could also support the development of life. Silicon is the second most abundant element in the Earth's crust, after oxygen. Like carbon, it can form a wide variety of compounds, and it has the ability to bond with many other elements. This means that silicon-based life forms could potentially have similar properties to carbon-based life forms, such as the ability to form complex structures and carry out metabolic processes. Scientists believe that the conditions for the emergence of silicon-based life forms would be different from those for carbon-based life forms and that it would be unlikely for silicon-based life forms to evolve in an environment that already has carbon-based life forms. Additionally, as we haven't discovered silicon-based life forms yet, it's not possible to say with certainty if they exist or not. 6. In the 1960s, the CIA reportedly conducted a program called Project Blue Book to investigate reports of UFOs. The project's findings were never made public, fueling conspiracy theories to this day. Project Blue Book was a program conducted by the United States Air Force, USAF, in the 1950s and 1960s to investigate reports of unidentified flying objects, UFOs. The project was established in 1952 as a successor to an earlier program called Project Sign and was active until 1969. The goal of the project was to determine the nature of the UFO sightings and to identify any potential security threats to the United States. During the course of the project, the Air Force investigated more than 12,000 UFO reports and collected data on the sightings. The project's investigators attempted to explain the sightings using known natural phenomena or human error, and they concluded that most sightings could be explained by such means. However, the project's findings were never made public, and the Air Force stated that the findings were inconclusive. The secrecy surrounding the project's findings and the lack of public access to the data have fueled conspiracy theories that the Air Force was hiding the true nature of the UFO sightings, such as the presence of extraterrestrial spacecraft. Despite the end of the project and the declassification of most of the project's files, the Air Force never released all the information and some of the files are missing. 7. There have been thousands of reports of alien abductions throughout history. Some abductees claim to have been taken aboard UFOs and subjected to medical experiments. Alien abduction is a phenomenon in which individuals claim to have been taken aboard a UFO and subjected to various medical and psychological experiments. The phenomenon of alien abduction became widely known in the late 20th century, but there have been reports of similar experiences throughout history. The individuals who claim to have been abducted often report similar experiences, such as being taken aboard a UFO, being examined by alien beings, and undergoing various physical and mental procedures. Some also report being returned to their original location with missing time and have difficulty recalling their experiences. The phenomenon of alien abduction is widely considered to be a controversial topic. Some people believe that these claims are genuine and that individuals are being taken by extraterrestrial beings for research or other purposes. Others believe that the experiences are the result of psychological factors, such as sleep disorders, hallucinations, or vivid dreams. 8. Crop circles, patterns found in crops that are often attributed to aliens, have been reported for centuries. Some scientists believe they are the work of natural phenomena or human hoaxers. Crop circles are patterns that are found in crops, such as wheat, barley, and corn. They are typically circular in shape and can range in size from a few feet to several hundred feet in diameter. Crop circles have been reported for centuries, but their origins remain a mystery. Some people believe that crop circles are the work of extraterrestrial beings and that they are a form of communication or a sign of their presence on Earth. Others believe that they are the result of natural phenomena, such as tornadoes or lightning strikes. There are also those who believe that crop circles are the work of human hoaxers, who create them using a variety of techniques, such as ropes, boards, and GPS.
Scientific studies have shown that the majority of crop circles are man-made, and created by individuals or groups as a form of art or protest. They are usually created at night and are found in fields of cereal crops, mainly wheat, barley, oats, and corn. These circles can be made quickly and easily using simple tools and techniques, and they are often seen as a form of performance art or modern-day folklore. 9. There are many ancient texts and artworks that some believe depict aliens or UFOs. Some ancient cultures, such as the Sumerians, even have stories of beings coming to Earth from other planets. There are many ancient texts and artwork that some believe depict aliens or UFOs. These include cave paintings, petroglyphs, and hieroglyphs that show beings or objects that resemble those often associated with UFOs and extraterrestrial life. Some ancient cultures, such as the Sumerians, Mayans, and Egyptians, also have stories and legends that describe beings coming to Earth from other planets or from the stars. For example, in Sumerian texts, there are stories of gods, known as the Anunnaki, who were said to have come to Earth from the planet Nibiru. According to the texts, the Anunnaki were responsible for creating humanity and teaching humans various skills and knowledge. Some researchers have interpreted these stories as descriptions of ancient alien visitations. However, many ancient texts and artwork have multiple interpretations and the meaning that was originally intended by the people who created them may not be the same as the interpretation that some people make today. Additionally, many stories and legends from ancient cultures have religious or mythological origins, and should not be taken as literal descriptions of historical events. Without any concrete evidence, it's not possible to confirm whether these texts and artworks are depictions of aliens or UFOs. The interpretation of these texts and artworks as evidence of ancient alien visitation is a controversial topic and is not widely accepted by mainstream scholars. 10. In 1976, NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft captured a photograph of what appeared to be a face on the surface of Mars. Some believe it to be evidence of an ancient alien civilization, while others say it's just a natural formation. In 1976, NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft captured a photograph of a landform on the surface of Mars that appeared to resemble a human face. The photograph, known as the face on Mars, was taken from a distance of about 1,500 miles, 2,400 kilometers, and showed a landform that had a distinct shape resembling a human face. Some people have interpreted this landform as evidence of an ancient alien civilization on Mars, claiming that it is an artificially constructed monument or a statue. However, scientists and researchers have since determined that the face on Mars is an example of a geological feature known as a mesa, which is a flat-topped hill with steep sides. The face-like appearance of the mesa is the result of erosion and shadowing, which give the appearance of eyes, nose, and mouth. High-resolution images taken by later missions, such as NASA's Mars Global Surveyor and Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, have clearly shown that the face is a natural formation and not an artificial construct. Some people still believe the face on Mars is evidence of an ancient alien civilization, despite the overwhelming scientific evidence to the contrary. This belief is not supported by any credible scientific evidence and is considered to be pseudoscience. 11. The Fermi Paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi, asks the question, where is everybody? If the universe is teeming with life, why haven't we found any evidence of it yet? Some scientists believe that aliens may be avoiding us, while others think that we simply haven't found them yet. The Fermi Paradox is a question that was first raised by physicist Enrico Fermi in the 1950s. It asks the question, where is everybody? If the universe is teeming with life and the conditions for life to evolve are common, why haven't we found any evidence of it yet? The paradox is based on the idea that there are many stars in the universe that are similar to our sun and that have planets in the habitable zone where liquid water can exist on the surface. Given the vastness of the universe, it is highly likely that some of these planets would have developed life, and some of that life might have evolved into intelligent beings capable of building and operating spacecraft. However, despite the many searches for extraterrestrial intelligence, there has been no concrete evidence of alien life found yet. There are several possible explanations for the Fermi paradox. One is that aliens may be avoiding us. This could be because they are aware of us and have decided not to make contact, or because they have not yet detected us. 
Another possibility is that we simply haven't found them yet. The universe is vast and our searches have been limited in scope. It is also possible that the conditions for the evolution of intelligent life are rare, and that we are alone in the universe. Some scientists believe that the vast majority of civilizations that emerge in the universe, do not make it to the point of developing the technology necessary for interstellar communication. Ultimately, the Fermi paradox is still unresolved, and the question of whether or not we are alone in the universe remains open. 12. Some scientists believe that aliens may be able to travel through time or exist in alternate dimensions, making them impossible for us to detect. The idea that aliens may be able to travel through time or exist in alternate dimensions is based on the theoretical concepts of physics. General relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein, suggests that time and space are not fixed, but rather can be affected by the presence of massive objects and the curvature of spacetime. This theory has been supported by a number of scientific experiments and observations, and it has led some scientists to propose the existence of extra dimensions. The concept of extra dimensions is based on the idea that our universe may not be limited to the three spatial dimensions and one-time dimensions that we are familiar with, but may contain additional, hidden dimensions. These extra dimensions could potentially be compactified, or curled up, in such a way that they are not directly observable to us. However, they could still have an impact on the behavior of matter and energy in our observable universe. If aliens were able to harness the concepts of general relativity and extra dimensions, they may be able to exist in ways that are beyond our current understanding and capabilities to detect. For example, they may be able to travel through wormholes, which are shortcuts through spacetime that could enable faster-than-light travel. They could also exist in alternate dimensions that are not directly observable from our own dimension, making them difficult or impossible for us to detect. 13. Some scientists believe that aliens may be so advanced that they are able to manipulate matter and energy in ways that are imperceptible to us. They could be living among us without us even knowing it. The idea that aliens may be so advanced that they are able to manipulate matter and energy in ways that are imperceptible to us is a common theme in science fiction, but it is also a possibility that some scientists have considered. One theory is that advanced aliens could have the ability to manipulate matter and energy at a subatomic level, making them invisible to our current detection methods. They could also have the ability to manipulate the electromagnetic spectrum in such a way that they are able to hide from our telescopes, radar, and other sensing equipment. Additionally, they may have the ability to manipulate their own energy output, making them appear as natural phenomena rather than as an artificial sources of energy. Another theory is that advanced aliens could be living among us without us even knowing it. They could be using advanced technology to disguise themselves as humans or other forms of life on Earth, or they could be using advanced forms of mind control to influence human behavior in a way that makes their presence among us undetectable. This hypothesis is purely speculative and there is currently no scientific evidence to support it. While it is possible that advanced alien civilizations may exist and possess capabilities that we can't currently comprehend, it is important to remember that there is a difference between possibility and probability. Scientists use the scientific method to establish theories and hypotheses, and the lack of evidence for this kind of theory makes it less likely. 14. Some scientists believe that aliens may be similar to humans in terms of their physical appearance and behavior. They may even have the same needs and desires as us. The idea that aliens may be similar to humans in terms of their physical appearance and behavior is based on the concept of convergent evolution. This theory proposes that, given similar environments, organisms from different planets may evolve to have similar characteristics in order to survive and thrive in those environments. For example, if a planet has a similar atmosphere, temperature range, and gravity as Earth, it's possible that any life forms that evolve on that planet would have similar physical characteristics to those of Earth, such as the need for water, air, and warmth. They may also have similar behaviors and cognitive abilities, such as the ability to communicate, form complex societies, and use tools. It's also possible that any intelligent alien species would have similar needs and desires as us, such as the need for food, shelter, companionship, and the desire for knowledge and exploration. They may also have similar moral and ethical systems, based on the same fundamental principles of empathy and cooperation. 
While it is possible that some alien species may have similar characteristics to humans, it is important to remember that the diversity of life on Earth is vast, and it is likely that the diversity of life in the universe is even greater. 15. Some scientists believe that aliens may be completely different from anything we can imagine. They may not have the same physical form as us, and they may not even be made of matter. The idea that aliens may be completely different from anything we can imagine is based on the concept of cosmic pluralism. This theory proposes that the universe is vast and diverse, and that life in the universe may take many forms that are completely different from anything we can currently imagine. One possibility is that aliens may not have the same physical form as us. They could be made of different types of matter, such as plasma or dark matter, or they could be made up of energy or information. They may not have a physical form at all and exist only as non-physical entities, such as intelligent computer programs or extra-dimensional beings. Another possibility is that aliens may not have the same cognitive abilities as us. They may not have the ability to perceive the world in the same way as we do, or they may not have the ability to communicate in the same way as we do. They may not have the same needs and desires as us, or they may not be affected by the same physical laws as we are. These are just a few of the many possibilities of what alien life could be like. The truth is, we may never know for sure. But one thing is certain. The universe is a vast and mysterious place, and the possibilities are endless. Thank you for watching this video. If you loved it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this.